Hey Year 8, so we're going to look at our film music assignment and how to solve it, how to get it done. There's two ways of doing it. Um, some of you guys will be doing a film speech, and so this is an example of a speech transcript. I'll make it big so you can see it. Um, notice that uh, a transcript is just the whole speech written out so that it's all prepared there. Uh, even if you don't deliver it uh, the best live, we've still got a copy of this and we know what you were intending when you uh, wrote up your speech. Uh, in my example, we have highlighted and uh, analyzed uh, the speech so that you know how it answers the question. Um, so the things that we are after are the purpose of the music. Is it to set the scene, set the time and place, set the mood, set a character or theme, that kind of thing. Uh, we want to know why the music is used. We also know how. Uh, want to know how the music is used. Is it using uh, a certain uh, use of duration, like it's a fast piece which uh, captures this certain mood, or is it a quiet and slow piece? Those are all musical concepts that you can talk about. Uh, you'll notice in my example, I go through a fair bit of that and how it links with the scene. So. Uh, having said that, let's uh, watch the scene. I've chosen the Lego movie, and I'm going to do a video review, uh, which is about a three-minute uh, how to get it done as a video. Here we go. Step 13, enjoy popular music. All right, I'm just going to pause it right there. He just clicked on the radio, so this is an example of source music. We are hearing the sound coming out of the radio in the car that Emmett can also hear. Source radio, let's hear what it is. Oh my gosh, I love this song! Awesome. Alright, so it, then it cuts out, and uh, it's a very happy, dance, chip tune style piece of music. And as we listen to it, you'll notice that uh, the point of this piece is to set the scene that they are all like robots. They've got a robotic characteristic. That's reinforced by the fact that it's a dance beat which goes on and on consistently. But also, it's kind of a futuristic movie. Um, because it's in the city, it's certainly modern, if not futuristic. They use a lot of synthesized or electronic sounds. Even the vocals uh, by the, the girl singing is, uh, it goes through some effects. Have a listen. Always use a turn signal, park between the lines. Drop off dry cleaning before noon, read the headlines, don't forget to smile, always root for the local... Okay, I love how the scene is actually synced with the beat of the music, which sounds a bit like they're doing this aerobic kind of kind of style exercise where it's completely mindless. I think it conveys that sense very well. So that's to do with the theme of this movie. The movie does go through this idea that all the people are happy, but they are really being mind controlled. Uh, which is pretty sad. So, you know, props to the composers, Sean Patterson, who wrote the music, T uh, Tegan and Sarah, who's the band who performed it, who did a great job capturing that uh, sense in this uh, piece of music. Let's continue. Sports team. Go sports team. Always return a compliment. Hey, you look nice. So do you. Drink overpriced coffee. Here you go. That's $37. Awesome! Everything is awesome. Did you see where are my pants? Okay, so you would have noticed the line, everything is awesome is repeated many times. And what does that do? It tries to reinforce this, but it's said so many times that it's like, is it genuine? As a viewer, we're questioning that. How awesome is this place when it's full of gridlocks? It's kind of uh, against what we see on the screen. It's it's, it's inc uh, incongruous, that's the word. And so, right from the start of this movie, it sets this mood, which is euphoric, super happy, but we know deep down inside the movie will move somewhere that uh, isn't quite there and we might hit a complication. But, uh, there it is. So everything is awesome, establishes the characters and how robotic and happy they are, even though they're doing mundane tasks. And it certainly uh, it starts offering a glimpse of the tensions that may arise as the movie progresses. That's the speech. So if you can do something like that, you will be doing an amazing, amazing job.